Okay, let's go. Hi, y'all. I'm Redheaded Neighbor, and good morning. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this little place here on the interwebs where we love to discover different kinds of music. And for me, recently, one of the big discoveries has been Rush. Y'all, I have been sleeping on Rush. I have had so many opportunities to learn about them and to listen to their music. And honestly, I don't think that I was in a place to be able to take them in because they have so much going on with them. Strong lyricism. Like the criticism that I talked about was... Um, it was in a magazine, and I believe it was a guitarist from Hootie and the Blow Blowfish who was saying that um, Lush Rush was not known for their lyrics. So he must not have listened to them very often because, yeah, <laughs> they are such a lyricist, strong lyricism band, and I love lyrics. That's one of the things that attracted me to certain kinds of rap. Not all rap. There's a difference. But Rush, they have it all, don't they? Um, I am so excited to be on this journey exploring Rush. And this one has been like all in the comments. Y'all have been saying, look, you need to check out Xanadu. Now, this one I'm pretty excited about because um, Xanadu is like a perfect place right kind of like a description of like a heaven or like a utopia something like that um i don't know what the context is going to be here it could just be an instrumental i don't remember but i do know that i saw in my comment section check out xanadu check out xanadu check out xanadu so y'all are the boss i'm a doing it let's get on it enough of me talking but I just have to tell you how excited I am because it's, <laughs> I don't have a lot of people uh, around that get rushed. And what's funny is I was one of those people. Okay, here we go. The question that you tend to ask the most often is what if? I think if you had to simplify a motivation or simplify a moving force in our music, that would probably suffice.
that set such a tone. Um, obviously, it felt very formative and space-like, um, but mostly for me, I was thinking it felt very sci-fi. It also had like some elements that was kind of, I think maybe the little bells, it made me think of Pink Floyd a little bit. Um, but wow, I felt that feels to me very formative right there. Did you hear that drum roll? Hug oh, the way that came through.
what he did. I love it. in this song. I love it. I love how they they're describing this Xanadu, right? Am, am I right about that? They're describing it and the changes within the society by changing the music. Um, I'm having to go purely just by the sound of the instruments and by the sound of Getty's voice because I Unfortunately, I, I didn't pull up the lyrics and I'm not catching all the lyrics. So um, it wouldn't be fair for me to let you guys think that I can understand everything that he's saying and I can't. Um, not on this song. So after the fact, I'll go back and, and, and read the lyrics. But so far, wow, they, they don't ever miss, do they? They don't. They don't miss.
So there are times when you know you have witnessed greatness. And this is one of those times. Like that was just straight up greatness. Alex on that guitar, that man, that man was going crazy. I mean, they all were, but there was one section there. How he was able to do that, I don't know. Rush makes every other band seem lazy. (sighs) That was amazing. I loved it. Great suggestion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh... Yeah, if you stuck around to the end of this, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I, I've got to get my tongue back in my mouth and come back to this world because that was incredible. Thank you.